Hello there, Flow Dragon. Ten minutes of slow camp, and I'm back for another speculation video. And yes, I, I'm sorry that I, that I haven't been uploading uh, videos as of lately. It's because I've I've been very busy, and I'm luckily going to be busy for the rest of the year. So, so for now, let's just kick back and um, talk about potential Empire remake, like on what, like the hints of it. And yes, I, I am very well aware that I did a speculation video about them for remake, but but I have changed the um, some opinions since then. So without further ado, uh, let's do this. So okay, so first so first hints I see uh, that I um, see is that uh, is that uh, there there's going to be a much lex um, as a mystery gift. Um, uh, like uh, as like one of those mystery gifts, it's uh, it's uh, like it's not that unusual for it to happen. Like like for example, back in Black and White Two, there was a uh, genocide as a mis as the first mystery gift, and uh, like the only can get uh, right when you start the game. Same thing happened with Pokemon X and Y, where there was a torch a torch chick uh, holding a, a blaze knight. Uh, so much like is uh, so much like is a similar thing except that it's now that's holding a Snorlium Z the Snorlium Z where like it's where like where it activates the signature move uh, uh, the signature Z move of Snorlax. Okay, so so uh, I so I like to pay attention to their glasses over here. So so as you saw in the in the Box art Pokemon Dying Pearl and even on Dalgan Pocket themselves, their color schemes are like um some kind of a there's like a light blue color scheme and uh and a pink kind of color scheme. I like I would say I'd say these match these colors that match those quite well and I don't and um but like but you can dismiss this as uh, some kind of coincidence if you want. So uh moving on now this is now this is um is a huge hint for Dime Four remakes. So so when Pokemon X and Y were uh, released, uh the the Hex uh, Maniac uh, on um uh from Pokemon Ruby Sapphire and Emerald uh actually reappeared on Pokemon X and Y, which was another hint towards the. There's like um Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire becoming a thing. So so I'd say that uh it, and this one is a, is the cowgirl NPC. See, um like this, uh this trainer class has first appeared in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, and now it's making a comeback in Pokemon Sun and Moon. So another hint towards the Diamond and Pearl remake and and a really good one is that. Uh okay yeah this is the portal to a I'll show you that mansion. I think it's a, I think it's a good hint for a diamond form we make because uh, uh, Dialga, Pocket, and Giratina, and Arceus are all from another dimension, and and uh, and you can see Giratina coming, uh, uh, and you can visit Giratina's dimension on uh, in Pokemon Platinum. So yeah, now now here's now here's where. Things starts to come together. So, so, uh, so Sogolo and Lunala are associated with the sun and moon, but, but the sun and the moon are are associated with time and space. Like, like it is a known fact that um, it is a known fact that like um, that both the sun and the moon are in space, but, uh, but also depending on which position. It, um, but also time is recorded um, time is based on like the pos the position of the uh, the position of both like even though the Sun doesn't move and the earth moves uh, like time is still recorded like in such a way also uh, talking about the back uh, talking about the the creation trio uh, Giratina um, has uh, the creation trio, uh, Dalga, Pock, and Giratina, uh, like represents solid, liquid, and gas. And and um, Cosmog is based is like is that is um, made of gas and dust. So 
Yeah, uh, and Giratina's ghost type is uh is also a reference to that, so a little real world reference there, but uh, let's move on. So okay, so the so the island guardians, uh the uh, the um there are new uh, type of like Pokemon who are in charge of keeping the island safe and and yep they they draw and and they seem to be like to be like the low the lower version of um the the lake guardians right uh the lake guardians right here the and um yeah I, th I thought I thought I thought would been a really cool uh, I thought like I thought this was a really good uh, hint because of that because they make like the Pokemon themselves uh the Pokemon themselves a huge uh a huge focus on every storyline so yeah now here's where things here's where things start to get extremely similar so so uh so recently so um so so uh, in in Pokemon Diamond Pearl there is a mythical Pokemon by the name of Arceus and that's this Pokemon right here and um what it, what Arceus can do is uh, it can change type depending on what uh, type of plate it holds so if it so if it's holding um toxic plates Arceus will be poison type if whereas it, if Arceus hold if it's holding a uh, an insect plate, it'll be a bug type. So, so how does it uh, relate to Type No and Silvali? Well, um, well, Type No uh, actually has a little bit of design um, similarity to Arceus. Um, as you can see, the whole wheel thing um, and the spikes on on the neck. However. However, this is the similarities doesn't end there. In fact, they increase um, in Soul Valley. Um, and in Soul Valley, there there's this new item called there's this new type of of a uh, type changing item called um, called a memory. And what it does is that is that it changes a uh, Soul Valley to any to any of the available typing, just like how just like the place that Arceus holds. So. So yeah, the... <laughs> now now back to Arceus right here. Um, now that's where spoiler starts to come in. Um, that's where uh, spoiler, I should put spoiler warning on on the title of the video, so I will put that. But but there this is a zero flute, um, an item that was never officially distributed. Uh, it's it's in the coin of Pokemon Diamond Pearl and Platinum, but it was never distributed. What what it did is that if you if you play this um Azure Flute at the Spear Pillar, uh a staircase leading to Arceus uh will appear. So so why so why am I talking about that? It's because in the coding of the game, uh there are two there are actually two flutes, the sun flute and the moon flute. And um they they're and they're associated with so so Galil so Galil and Lunala, but but the fact that they're like they're like the that there's specifically flutes uh that relates to this um ma makes it a little more likely. Now now yes, let's talk about let's talk about Rotom. So Rotom was introduced in Pokemon Diamond Pearl. And uh, it can change uh it can change forms by possessing uh, several uh several household appliances like um and it'll change style depending on which one, like for example, uh, a fan Rotom will be flying type, um, a heat Rotom, whereas a, as a heat Rotom will, uh, will be fire type. However, there's a new Rotom in Pokemon Sun and Moon called the, um, the Rotom Pokedex. And it's basically a Rotom possessing a Pokedex, um, where the Rotom uh, gives information to the player. On, on their uh to the player character on their adventure and shows wh where to go next so yeah now now before i go um to the next slide i also want to bring up a few things that i didn't have in this video so first uh the battle tree is having like um th there's uh city is going to be appearing the at the battle tree um it's 
she's going to be one of the trainers that appear in, in the battle tree and and um i don't know if she will have a mega garchomp or not uh it it's uh it's still a mystery at this point however another thing that um that i have realized is that uh there's actually uh um there's actually uh, like two places um two places based off real life lo locations of hawaii uh there's one based off pearl harbor and another one which is like uh an old harbor thing i'm not going to go over it too much um and th and there was diamond head a a mountain that's uh that's um a a huge um mountain in the a huge like a huge mountain uh in Hawaii. Anyway, so so I so talking about the hints I didn't have on the on on the um, on the slides, I'm going to talk up I I'm actually going to have I actually have a prediction on like what the future of Pokemon of like what the next few years of the, of the Pokemon what will happen in the next few years of the Pokemon series. So so yeah, so I I decided so so here's what I think. So 2017 um yeah, I also have to uh talk about this. Initially I thought that Pokemon Diamond that Pokemon Diamond Pearl remake would release on 2019 be, uh because uh because because um as of Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire like uh, like all Pokemon remakes have been 5 years apart. So so yeah, in 2004 Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green, 2009, Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, and 2014, Pokemon Mega Ruby and Off Sapphire. However, since Game Freak was being it was being unpredictable, I like I have decided to uh sorry for switching slides, but I have decided to um I I have changed my mind that and Th and I think that Diamond Pearl Remake will come sooner rather than later. So, so now let's get to the prediction part. So, so Pokemon Diamond Pearl Remake would be re um would be released um on the 3DS, and um and it'll be the the last the last Pokemon game should be released on the 3DS. Um, 2000 2018 no main series games because it, it's the same thing that happened um in 2016 where where like we all thought there was going to be a a, a Zygarde uh game a Zygarde game uh taking place in the Kalos region but no no 2015 where we where like where a lot of us thought there was going to be a main series uh no, yeah 2015 there was no main yeah, there was no main series games in 2015. In 2016, uh, Pokemon Sun was uh is going to come out instead of a Zygarde game. But on the bright side, Zygarde is going to get the form in Pokemon Sun and Moon. So yeah. Uh, in 2019, um the first Pokemon games on the on the Nintendo Switch. Um uh like it's going to be generation eight. Now Whatever now I don't know what it's now now no one knows what it's going to be called but it's going to be awesome. And finally in 2000 in 2020 a black and white remake on the Switch and the reason why I put like a generation 5 remake on the Switch um generation 5 remake to as a prediction thing it's because I don't think that uh, that Generation One and Generation Two are going to be remade anytime soon because because of the Virtual Console releases. Um, because I don't think that a Kanto remake is going to be released anytime soon because because there's a Pokemon uh, Red, Blue, and Yellow on the Virtual Console. Um, also on on the No Main Series game pr prediction, I forgot Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal on the Virtual Console. So yeah, so I think that's going to be it. So if you guys like the video, hit the like button. If you want to be part of the TK Dragon Tournament, and subscribe to my channel to know whenever my newest videos come out. And yeah, I'll see you guys later.
I